All right, hello, wine drinking people. Today is Tuesday and uh, the 28th of August, finishing up another great month here at the Wine Watch. We just whisked one there with the storm, Isaac, and uh, praying for those people up there in. Um, Wherever the hell that store's going, but we're glad it's not here, man. No New Orleans and Mississippi. We hope everything goes all right with these guys. But those new levees, it's on the news, man. It looks like they've got everything covered up there. And uh, so we're back to drinking here next month, or next week, actually. Um, i got a little bit of time off this week. I'm going to be leaving town the 12th of September. God, the day before our big pairings event. But we have got two burgundy tastings back-to-back -back next week. We have got uh, one down at the Edge Restaurant, which is what we're here to promote today. And then the very same tasting the next night, kind of a deja vu thing uh, going on at Cafe Max. Usually I don't have the same exact wines at these events, but uh, I must be leaving town and wanted to keep things easy. And it's a different crowd. These are one of our $35 tastings. These guys down at the Edge Steak and Bar have been doing a fantastic job. Chef Aaron Brooks putting out some killer food on the table and, you know, just two small courses, but uh, most most of the people I don't think have had to stay for dinner after that. We've got eight wines we're going to be showing from Burgundy, and Burgundy is the ultimate expression of terroir. And uh, no, these aren't scared grapes. This is uh, what the French call the uh, all the things that come together in a certain area, the soil type, the aspect of the sun, the amount of rainfall, all these things relate to the terroir, the dirt where the wine is grown in. And Burgundy, one of the greatest examples of this, uh, you can see, well, 25 Grand Cru's for the red, uh, 5 Grand Cru's for the white in the Cote d'Or, and uh, hundreds of Premier Cru's, I don't know about 100, but almost 100 Premier Cru's in the 70, 60, 70 Premier Cru's, and a lot of, uh, well, that's just considering the Cote d'Or and the Cote de Nuit, uh, uh, the Cote de Nuit and the Cote de Bone, rather, and the Cote d'Or. You haven't even talked about Chablis, which there's 8 Grand Cru's for Chablis, and then technically, yes, Beaujolais is part of Burgundy, the very southern area where the grape type varies. Uh, that's Beaujolais Gamay. You do see a little Chardonnay and possibly a little Pinot Noir down there too. But for the most part, Burgundy is Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. That's why I say it's the greatest expression of terroir because you have the same varietals grown by the same producers in different dirt, and it is amazing how different the wines are. We're going to show you, uh, well, several different regions, the Côte de Chalonnaise, which is where Puy Fousse is from, and the Mekon, Mekon Blanc Village, stuff like that. We've got Puy Fousse from one of our good friends, Bouchard Perry Feast. We've been putting on there Puy Fousse, which is outstanding, just 100% Chardonnay. And then we've got some more eclectic stuff uh, going down on the table. We've got a Marcinet Blanc from the very northern end of the Côte de Nuit, and we have uh, some Chablis, a premier crew from Jean-Marc Brocard, and then starting out at the very bottom, folks, but in great vintages like 2009 and 2010, even the Bourgogne Rouges are excellent, not just cooking wine like what we normally consider them here at the Wine Watch, but Bouchard always puts together a nice Bourgogne Rouge, and then uh, we've got the Bone Clos de Mousse from there, 2010, so some great vintages, and then going back in time to 2008, uh, not considered such as good of a vintage but hey these wines are all excellent wines very classic examples of their villages marceny fix in and then we got a premier crew of uh, vujo which uh premier crew definitely a big step up especially in vintages like 2008 where it was a little difficult but like i said the most important thing is the producer we have got great producers on the table small producers very typical wines from what you'll find from these little villages so come on down and join us check them out a week from tonight down at the edge steak and bar on brickle in the four seasons hotel i'm your host andrew lampasoni signing off for the wine watch saying remember always drink the good stuff first